Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the Prismacolor Coal Erase Pencils. Um, in this sketch that I'm drawing, I am using the color Rose, and I am also using artprompts.org. I will have their link in the description, and I tend to use their website a lot just because you can... It, gives, it basically gives you ideas for characters, environment, situations, and I believe creatures and objects. And the prompt for this one was a cute couple on a bench. And I decided to make them an elderly couple just because, I don't know, I guess that's just what I wanted to draw. And so, oh, sorry, excuse my voice, I'm a little sick. Um... So I wanted to show you guys how I drew this using coal erase pencils. Um, if you don't know what um, the Prismacolor coal erase pencils are, they're basically kind of like erasable color pencils, but they actually erase compared to, for example, the Crayola color uh, color pencils that are erasable. Basically, don't really erase that well. So. I actually bought these at Dick Blick. I know you can buy them on Amazon. I will be putting the link down below for Amazon and Dick Blick. Um, but Dick Blick or Blick Art Supply has the open stock pencils. And so that way, instead of having to buy the 24 or the 12 pack, you can just buy the colors that you want. And that's what I did. I bought two rows, two, I believe they were crimson or scarlet red, I'm not quite sure, and one purple. I wanted to get another purple, but they were completely sold out, except for one purple pencil, so I got the last one. And those are the only three colors, just because um, I used to use the non-photo blue, but the problem with that is when I go over it with flesh tone colors, um, the blue does show, so I tend to use pinks and reds and purples just so they can blend into flesh tones easier. Um, and these pencils glide so smoothly, and they're kind of waxy, so it's really easy for me to draw circles for basic head shapes compared to a graphite pencil, and they don't smudge like graphite pencils. Um, but artists tend to use them just because I can draw really, really light to the point where you can't see it. Like in the beginning of the video, when I drew the basic circle for the head, it's really hard to see the rose pencil. And then I can press harder to make the color even darker. And then once I'm finished um, completely coloring my artwork, you actually can't see most of the red lines, unless they're where I want you guys to see them. So that's one thing I love about using the Coley Erase pencils. Um, before I used to use the Crayola Erasable just because the closest um, Blick art supply to me is about an hour, hour and a half away. Um, Michaels and Hobby Lobby does not sell Prismacolor Coal Erase in stores. You can only buy them in stores at the Blick Art Supply or online at their website or Amazon. You can use different colors for different layers. So um, usually I just use one color um, for the Coal Erase and then I will go over it in a graphite to, I guess, finalize my sketch and then go over it with my um, Micron pens and then erase the lines and color it in. Um, in this specific drawing, I actually did not use graphite. I went straight from my cool erase pencil to my Prismacolor brush markers just because I wanted a non-outline look. And I actually liked the way it turned out. But um, if I wanted to make the background more layered, I could have used the purple or the red or um, whatever other color cool erase you want just so you know what your layers are because sometimes when you draw with just graphite 
it's hard to tell how detailed your background is. It's hard to tell um, exactly how to outline it and sometimes you draw a line that's not supposed to be there or it's not supposed to be connected, it's a mess. So using colored pencils does help so much to make sure that you know what you're drawing, to understand how many layers are you drawing, and it's easier to hide mistakes um, compared to graphite pencils. I know some people tend to use the non-photo blue, and I did when I first found out about using colored pencils um, or er erasable colored pencils to draw with. Um, I am a self-taught artist, um, so I didn't know until I started watching other YouTube videos and of animators who would use um, red and non-photo blue. And I started off with non-photo blue, and that one works because if you have your scanner set to the right settings, when you scan it, um, the blue won't show up. So you can have your sketch in the non-photo blue, and then ink it, and then scan it, and it will show up on your computer with just the inking. And for me, that's not really what I wanted just because I don't do any digital art. I basically just stick to sketches, um, so it really wasn't necessary for me to have a non-photo blue, and when I would try to erase it, it wouldn't go, and then when I would put flesh tones on top of it, you can see the blue, and that was a huge problem for me. So I started using red, and it was easier because even if it did show, uh, I can make it into flesh cheeks or a red nose or red ears and it would just blend more naturally than the blue did and the rose is even more natural than the red and the purple I do like using but that one I actually prefer to use with darker skin tones um, and I haven't really tried any other color I know that Prismacolor Cold Erase does sell like black and white and purple and green and blue and orange and brown, all these other colors, but for me, I just stick to purple, crimson, I believe it is crimson red, and rose um, for um, my sketches. And I believe I also used this in last week's video for my Princess Leia. Carrie Fisher tribute sketch and um, in other videos I will also be using these a lot more just because I do recommend getting the cool erase. Um, I did try using Crayola and it did not work so I would recommend that you buy these. Um, so that's basically I guess a quick um, explanation of using these cold erase, it's just easier. The wax makes the pencil to glide so much easier than a graphite pen. They don't smudge and you can use multiple colors in one drawing to understand different, um, different foregrounds and yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, this quick explanation of why I use colored pencils, erasable colored pencils to draw with. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to check out my Instagram page, my Facebook page. I will have all the links to the Prismacolor Cold Erase um, down below in the description. And all the materials that I use in this video will be in the description as well, like always. And don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!
Hey guys, quick note for those of you wondering what happened and how I went from a rough sketch to more than half of my drawing done, if not already completed. What happened was I had paused um, the recording to go do something. I don't really remember what I did, but by the time I sat back down, I guess I forgot to press record and I did not notice until I was almost done with the entire drawing and oh my god I can't believe I did something that silly and stupid that I totally forgot to press the record button and I'm so sorry um, I still hope that you guys like this video I'll promise to remember to press record in my next video Alright, bye.